Want 10% off your MTG singles? Go to Flipside Gaming and enter the promo code POWER in all caps to receive 10% off $10 or more. Want to see extra videos? Sign up to our Patreon and get access to our Discord, early access to videos, Patreon-only videos, and much more. Need a better life tracker? Download the Gauntlet app for your phone. It keeps track of your life totals, counters, win rate, and so much more. It's free, so go check it out. More info is in the description. Thanks for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. We are coming at you with another game from Magic Fest Vegas. We attended both Magic Fest Vegas and SCG Con this year. We had a blast playing with you all and recording some awesome games. We will be doing a tour of multiple conventions next year, and we hope to meet more of you and jam some games together. A quick thanks to all of our Patreons for their support. We really could not do this without you. If you'd like to become a patron, please check out the link in the description below and check out some of the perks our patrons get. You can also show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel if you're not already a subscriber. It really helps out a lot. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Garrett piloting Jace, Friends Prodigy. This deck, called High Tide Jace, utilizes its namesake card to gain mana advantage and storm off for the win. Garrett's opening hand contains a Candelabra of Thanos, Cyclonic Rift, Narset's Reversal, Misty Rainforest, Windfall, Dispel, and a Mana Crypt. Next, we have Tyler, piloting Niv-Mizzet Reborn. This deck is a food chain deck, leveraging Cast from Exile creatures with food chain to generate infinite mana, cast your commander repeatedly, and win through a combo. Tyler's opening hand contains a Dovin's Veto, Chain of Vapor, Spark Caster, Demonic Consultation, Carpet of Flowers, Godless Shrine, and a Yava Maya Coast. After that, we are bringing back the infamous Shaper Savant, piloting Timna and Krom. This deck, called Opus Thief, seeks to leverage card advantage and wheel effects to grind and win the game. Shaper's opening hand contains a Felwar Stone, Mana Drain, Vampiric Tutor, Steam Vents, Flusterstorm, Demonic Tutor, and a Volcanic Island. Finally, we have Nathan, piloting Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. This deck leverages a number of combos, such as Doomsday Lines, World Gorger Dragon combos, and other compact win conditions. Nathan's opening hand contains a Polluted Delta, Sunscorched Desert, Stomping Ground, Bloodstained Mire, Vampiric Tutor, Brainstorm, and a Mystical Tutor. Without further ado, let's kick off this powerful presentation of proliferating prestigitation. Shaper gets a Royal Flush at the poker table and gets to start us off. Shaper plays a Volcanic Island for turn. He casts a Mana Vault. He taps his vault to cast Felwar Stone. All through, he passes the turn. Garrett starts out his turn by casting Mana Crypt. He plays a Misty Rainforest. He cracks it for a snow-covered island. He casts his commander, Jace, Friends Prodigy. He uses the rest of his floating mana to cast Candelabra of Thanos. He ends his turn. Nathan plays a Polluted Delta for turn and passes. Tyler plays a Yavimaya Coast. He taps his coast for green to cast Carpet of Flowers. He ends his turn. During his draw step, Shaper takes a damage to his mana vault. He plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying 2 life. He ships the turn to Garrett. During his upkeep, Garrett loses his mana crypt trigger and takes 3 damage. He activates Jace, drawing a card and discarding Echo of Eons. He plays a Snow Covered Island for turn. He casts High Tide. He taps one of his islands for 2 blue and then taps mana crypt for 2 colorless. He then uses Candelabra to untap his lands. Garrett then casts Windfall. In response, Nathan cracks his Polluted Delta for an Underground Sea. Nathan then casts Mystical Tutor. In response, Garrett casts a spell, targeting the Tutor. The Tutor is countered, and with Windfall still on the stack, Shaper casts Flusterstorm, targeting Windfall, countering the spell. Turn thwarted, Garrett passes. Nathan plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He casts Brainstorm. He draws three and puts two back on top. He passes. Tyler plays a Godless Shrine, into play untapped, paying two life. He does nothing else and ends his turn. During his draw step, Shaper takes a damage from his mana ball. He decides to hold up mana and passes the turn. Garrett starts off his turn by activating Jace, drawing and discarding and transforming him. He activates Jace's minus ability, targeting Windfall in his graveyard. He casts Windfall from his graveyard. 
In response, Nathan cracks his bloodstained mire for a blood grip into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Vampiric Tutor. With Vampiric Tutor on the stack, Tyler casts Dovin's Veto, targeting Windfall. Windfall is countered again, and Nathan fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. With his plans disrupted again, Garrett gives a turn to Nathan. Nathan plays a Stomping Ground into play untapped, paying two life. He plays a Carpet of Flowers for turn. He passes. Tyler plays a Bloodstained Mire for turn. He cracks it for an Overgrown Tomb into play untapped, paying two life. He moves to a second main phase and adds two green through his carpet. He casts Noble Hierarch. He follows up with a Treasured Find, targeting Dovin's Veto in his graveyard. In response, Shaper casts Mana Drain, countering the spell. All through, Tyler passes. At the end of Tyler's turn, Shaper casts Vampiric Tutor, fetching up a card onto the top of his library and losing two life. During his draw step, Shaper takes a damage through his Mana Vault. In his main phase, he adds two colorless mana through the Mana Drain. He uses that mana to cast Smothering Tithe. The table goes on high alert, and Shaper passes the turn. On his turn, Garrett activates Jace's plus ability, targeting Tyler's Noble Hierarch. He holds up mana and passes the turn. In his first main phase, Nathan adds two black through his Carpet of Flowers. He plays a Sun Scorched Desert for turn, pinging Garrett for one. He casts his commander, Golos, Tireless Pilgrim. Golos enters, and Nathan fetches up a Mishra's Factory onto the battlefield. All through, Nathan passes. During his main phase, Tyler adds two red through his carpet. He taps his Yavamaya Coast for green and casts his commander, Niv Mizzet Reborn. He reveals the top 10 cards of his library and puts two of them into his hand. All finished, he passes. During his draw step, Shaper takes damage through his Mana Ball. He plays a Windswept Heath for turn. He cracks it for a Scrubland. He casts Cabal Ritual. In response, Garrett casts Narset's Reversal, bouncing the Ritual back to Shaper's hand and adding five black to Garrett's pool. In order to force Garrett to spend his mana, Shaper declares that he would like to move to combat and gives everyone a round of priority before moving into the next phase. Garrett uses his floating mana to activate Candelabra to untap his lands. He then casts Frantic Search, drawing two, discarding two, and untapping his lands again. Now. Still in his main phase since Garrett took actions, Shaper recast Cabal Ritual. In response, Garrett casts Factor Fiction, choosing Nathan. He reveals an Enter the Infinite, Muddle the Mixture, Sleight of Hand, Mystical Tutor, and a Snow-Covered Island. Nathan separates them into two piles. Garrett chooses the second pile. With that finished, Shaper adds five black to his pool. He casts Demonic Tutor. He then casts what he tutored up, which is a Wheel of Fortune. In response, Nathan casts Entomb. He fetches up a World Gorger Dragon into his graveyard. With nothing else, everyone discards their hand, draws seven, and Shaper creates 21 treasures from the Smothering Tide. Shaper casts a Soul Ring. He pays two life and casts a Taxian Probe, targeting Garrett. He looks at Garrett's hand and draws a card. He casts Brainstorm, drawing three and putting two back on top. He casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic Opus. He casts Mystical Tutor, fetching up a Tainted Pact onto the top of his library. He then casts Laboratory Maniac. After that, he casts Whispering Madness. Everyone discards their hand and draws a fresh 7, Shaper creates 21 more treasures, and Shaper ciphers Whispering Madness onto Krom. Shaper follows up by casting Tainted Pact. He flips his library into exile. He then attacks Garrett with Krom, triggering Whispering Madness's Cypher, making everyone wheel, and having Shaper draw from an empty library to win the game through Laboratory Mania. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congrats to Shaper on his second win on the channel. His deck was able to generate tremendous value and crank out a turn five win. Garrett played well and had the right answers at the right time. Unfortunately, the wheels left him on the back foot and just a turn behind. Nathan had his combo poised and ready. Unfortunately, Garrett's counter and Shaper's wheels pulled the rug out before he had his chance. Tyler had a powerful setup and was able to get advantage by casting his commander on turn four. Like Nathan, however, the game ended before he got his chance. The player of the game was Shaper. Right answers at the right times and the ability to pull off of turn five win was commendable. The most valuable card goes to Smothering Time. If this card lands, it wins games. Leveraging wheel effects and three opponents turns this card's power up to 11. 
Well, that about does it for this episode. Tune in next time when we will duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.